let us continue with the factorization uh, so let us write the first question okay the first question is factorize uh, say 2x squared uh, minus 5x minus 3 now in my previous video I, sh uh, I showed you how to factorize uh, a trinomial a perfect square now the only difference is we didn't have a number with x squared okay, so this is slightly different but basically it is the same so what I'm going to do is uh, when you you are you're factorizing basically you're putting them in two brackets this is a quadratic so I look at 2x squared and I think what are the numbers that goes here so what times what gives you 2x squared so well that has to be 2x and x or x times 2x whichever way you write so 2x times x gives me 2x squared now the I have to put a number here and here so let me do a dash here define a number here and a number here which should multiply to give you negative 3 and they add to give you negative 5 okay so which are the numbers so let me write the number C negative 3 uh, you can write as negative 3 uh, times negative 1 okay you can write this is also 1 times negative 3 so there are two possible ways in which you can write uh, oh sorry uh, oh oops I made a mistake here <laughs> so negative 3 so let me rewrite it is negative 3 times 1 or it can be 1 or negative 1 times 3 these are two ways in which you can write now you have to select which are the now how are you going to put the numbers that's the main tricky part here so if I put say minus 3 let me put here negative 3 and plus 1 will it work this and this does give you minus 3 but if you look at the we are focusing on so this is minus this is minus 3x and so let me show you that so this this 2 multiplies to give you 2x times 1 is 2x and minus 3 times x gives you minus 3x this will not give you minus 5x so this is not the right choice so what if so this is wrong so I should take something else I want you to think what are the numbers that comes here okay so well what if I put plus 1 here plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 minus 3 will this we know that plus 1 times negative 3 plus 1 times negative 3 gives you negative 3 but what if suppose let us multiply this to what is 1 times x 1 times x is 1x or you can write x and 2 times negative 6 gives you negative 6x and I hope you can see that negative 6x plus x is minus 5x so this is the right factorization so this is the answer okay so this is all about trial and error method okay so let us take the next question okay the next question is 2x squared this is all plus so there is no problem plus 11x plus 12 so it is similar to the previous question so I'll start with the bracket two brackets so obviously you write here 2x and x will only give you 2x squared now 12 you can write in different ways 12 you can write as 1 times 12 1 times 12 is I have to cancel this 1 times 12 uh, 1 times 12 is 12 uh, you can also have say 2 times 6 you can have 3 times 4 6 times 2 and so on so which are the two numbers that adds to give you plus 11 yeah okay so 3 and 4 so let us try here plus 3 
and plus 4. Will this work? You always check whether it's working. So this is 3x. This 3 times x is 3x. And 2x times 4, 4 is 8x. And lo and behold, 3x plus 8x is 11x. So this is fine. So you can give yourself a star. Okay, the next question. Number three. Uh, it is a, again 2x squared minus 17x plus 35. I would like you to pause the video and try to do it yourself. Okay, so again, you can start with 2x and x in the two brackets. So, which are the two numbers which multiplies to give you negative, sorry, plus 35 and adds to give you uh, negative 7. So, 35, both the numbers have to be negative. So, this is a minus 1 times minus 35. So, this obviously cannot work because if you put this year or year, it will become too big. So, this is this is not going to work. Which is the next option? You can take 5 times or negative 5 times negative 7. Negative 5 times negative 7 or negative 7 times negative 5. Okay, so which are the, how are you going to place the numbers? That's very tricky, yeah? So you have to place in such a way that you get 14. So let me put negative 7 here. Let me put negative 7 here and negative 5 here. What happens? Negative 7 and negative 5. Does it work? Uh, okay, so let us try. So this is trial and error. So this is minus, this is minus 5x and this is minus 14x. So let me write that. So this is minus 5x and this is minus 7x. So minus 7x and minus 7x minus 5x gives you minus 12x. So this is not working. So this is not the right choice. Okay, so what should be, what happens if we swap the numbers around? Okay, suppose let us put say negative 7 and negative 5. Will, will this work? Okay, let us try our luck. So this is, this will give you minus 7x. Okay, and this will give us negative 10x. Negative 10x. So, and there we can see negative 7x plus negative 10x is negative 17x so this is right so we can give ourselves a smiley face okay so let me move on so let me do let me uh, do a slightly different question now suppose what if it is 3x squared 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. so obviously you will start with two brackets so what are we going to write here? So well, you have to write here 3x and x. Because 3x and x will only give you 3x squared. Now minus 15, minus 15, which are the ways in which you can write minus 15? So well, you can write this as minus 1 times 5 or 5 times negative 1. That will also give you. Or you can write minus 3 times 5 or 5 times a negative 5 times 3. Okay, so these are the two possible ways. So which are the numbers that you're going to put here? So let us put, you want to find minus 4x. So to be, be a bit tricky here. Yeah? So I'll not put, if I put minus 5x here, that will become, this suppose let me put here, suppose let us put here plus 5. Let us do something wrong. It's always good to do something wrong and learn from that. Uh, oh, this should be, I'm 
my brain is not working this is minus this should be 15 I meant minus 1 times 15 sorry okay so let us put here uh, so let us take 5 and minus 3 like this will it work so it's always good to check so this is this is minus 3 times x is minus 3x okay and 5 times 3x times 5 is 15x so you go minus 3x plus 15x is equal to 12x but we want how many x we want minus 4x so this is not the right choice so I need to delete this so this is not going to work so I wanted to think what other way in which you can write this so this is not right so what if I take uh, minus 5 here, minus 5 plus, let me put here plus 5 and minus 3, plus 5 minus 3. So what will happen now? So look at this. So this is plus 5x, this is 5x, and 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. Does it work? Minus 9x plus 5x is equal to minus 4x. So that's what we want. And so we can be really be happy. We can give ourselves two smiley faces.